Here are some things you must do before changing your flow switch. The first step is to close the circuit breaker to make sure there is no more electricity. Then, you need to close the circulation pump and both the water inlet and outlet. When this is done, all that's left to do is follow the steps shown in this video. Unscrew the 8 screws that are situated around the top of the heat pump to be able to take it off. Set aside from the rest the 2 screws from the front of the heat pump because they are longer and you need to make sure that you put those two back in the same place when you close it back. Take the top off and set it aside. This is the flow switch, but there are some steps before replacing it. You need to unscrew four screws to open the electrical box. You can now unscrew the flow switch and set it aside as shown in the video because you still need to disconnect its wires. Go back to the electrical box. You will need to disconnect the two wires who are connected to the flow switch. The brown one and the blue one. You can now take the flow switch out of the heat pump. Take your new flow switch. Make sure the gasket is still in place under the flow switch and screw it in. It is very important that it stays parallel with the piping on the outside of the heat pump. Do not leave it like this, make sure it is straight. Pass the wires of the flow switch in the same hole you took the ones of the old flow switch out of. Connect the blue wire and the brown wire in the same place as they were before. You can now screw back the top of the electrical box on. Put back the top of the heat pump on and make sure to use the longer screws on the front otherwise you could damage your heat pump. 